Welcome to Booze on the Rocks, and today we're going to make The Longest Day. Now, you might be wondering why that name sounds familiar. Well, A, it was the name of a movie from 1962, which is a World War II movie starring none other than John Wayne himself. However, this cocktail has absolutely nothing to do with that. But it was created by Catherine Pepper Stashik while she was at Attaboy. Now, this is an interesting low ABV cocktail that's supposed to be frothy and citrusy and slightly bitter. Now, I haven't made this before, so I hope it turns out right. But it is a shaken cocktail, so grab yourself your shaking glass. And we're going to start with some orange slices. Now, I don't have any oranges, but I have some mandarins. The recipe itself calls for two orange slices. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut and prepare four of these little slices to give us the sort of equal amount. Now, what we will see is a slight difference in color and the flavor will be just a little bit different, but you just wanna make sure that you basically just toss them in unsquished. And I don't think I've ever used the term unsquished in a single video before. What I should say is we're not muddling them because they'll actually get broken down in the shaking process. Now, we do need a little bit of lemon juice. So we don't need a lot. We need about three quarters of an ounce, which works out to 22 and a half mils. So you just wanna squeeze it out, measure it, and pour it directly into the glass. Your next ingredient is half an ounce or 15 mils of a one-to-one -one simple syrup. And this is just one part water, one part sugar, and you just sort of cook it or let it simmer until it goes completely clear and then refrigerate it for later use. And as I said, half an ounce. Our next ingredient is going to be a red Italian bitter. And for this, we're using a little bit of Campari. It's 25% ABV, and it's going to give you some really interesting notes as well as really offset the sweetness that we have in here. And we need a total of three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. Our next ingredient is going to be gin. And for this, we're using Beef Eater London Dry Style Gin. Uh, you can adjust your cocktail by the type of gin you use. If you want something a little bit more floral or something a little bit more juniper heavy, totally up to you. But you have to remember that you have some interesting flavors already in here that you wanna try and make sure this works really well with. Anyways, we need a total of an ounce and a half or 45 mils. Your next ingredient is going to truly transform this cocktail. And that's because we're going to use egg whites. Now, egg whites will give us a little bit of protein, of course. However, it'll give us a silky mouthfeel as well as a bit of foam. And you can use a vegan alternative such as garbanzo bean juice or AKA chickpeas, depending on wherever you're from. You could also use something like a magic foaming bitter, but I would stick with the first two. So you just wanna have one white, Make sure you save your egg yolk for something else later. Never waste anything if you can possibly help it. And what we're going to do next now is we're going to add a couple of ice cubes. You can either use one big solid ice cube or you could use three or four decent sized cubes because what we need to do is we need to make sure that not only do we chill this, we need to create a back and forth motion that allows the egg white to properly emulsify. So you wanna make sure that you get a really good tight seal because the egg white will actually create a little bit of what's called an off gas and will create some pressure in this. So make sure you hold onto this really solid and give it a good solid shake for eight to 10 seconds. Oh yeah. Okay. We've got a really good shake happening. We've got some frosting, so we know we have some good chilling happening here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another glass and I'm going to throw a little bit of ice in there. I'm not going to fill it up all the, all the way uh, because we're just going to, now you don't have to fine strain it, but I'm going to because I want to keep out any of the pulp from the orange and little chunks of ice. The color on this looks really, really nice so far. However, we're going to top this up with some soda water. Now I've just used a soda stream. You could use a little bit of uh, 
uh, Canada Dry if you want, or just basically a seltzer. And you just want to top this up to give it a foamy head. Oh, look at that. That looks fantastic. Grab yourself a bit of a straw, and we're just gonna slide that in there because we want to get a good mixture here and give it a try. Ooh, that's interesting. You can taste the gin, you can taste the Campari. It's there, it's proud, but it's not overpowering. You definitely get the orange. You don't notice the lemon in this. It's actually really, really good. If you like interesting cocktails like this, take a look after the recipe card right over here.